I'm Eddie Yu, and today I'm going to show you how to get blood pressure monitoring on your Galaxy Watch Active. I don't know about you, but that was the only reason why I bought this watch. I was completely happy with my Wear OS watch, and I had no reason to switch. I actually like the way it works, maybe even a little bit better than this. But the BP monitoring was really cool, and I was like, hey, you know, that's an added benefit. That's not something that everyone else has. It's a health thing. I got to work on that myself. So I figured, hey, why not? That'll be the best thing for me. So I decided to convert. I went from my Pixel 3 to the S10 to the watch active. But now that this is available, this is the best thing for this watch. It's a little gimmicky, which I'll show you. But I know a lot of you want to actually have this feature. So today I'm going to show you how to implement, how to get it working, how to get started on your Galaxy watch active. And I haven't done my full review yet because, again, we have not all the features full review is coming. I don't know about you, this was like the main reason why I got the Galaxy Watch active. I didn't have any problem with my Wear OS watch, even though it was an older, you know, Huawei watch, awesome watch, no issues with it at all. Now the first thing you want to do is you're going to have to have, from what it looks like, a Galaxy S9 or S10 device. So even if you bought this watch for Apple to use on an iPhone, it looks like right now there is no way to do it looks like the requirements right now are Galaxy S9 or S10. I don't know why, because technically it's all supposed to be done on the watch, but right now, that's what seems to be the issue. So you're going to have to go to the Galaxy Store, and you're going to want to search for My BP Lab. Let me turn on my Wi-Fi. Click on it. Obviously, download or install. You have to be 18 years or older. Once that's installed, you just downloaded the actual phone app, but now you need the watch app. So you want to go back. If you search it, and then if right here you'll see watch. Click on watch. You'll see the MyBP Lab 2.0. Obviously, this is a watch interface for your watch. Install that as well. Again, it asks you if you're 18 years or older. Allow and download. It's going to put on your watch. So now it's installed on your watch. It's that little heart icon right there. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Obviously, when allowed access, access to the sensors. Now, it's going to say, let's calibrate your blood pressure. Now, before you get into the whole watch stuff, you're actually going to want to go into the phone app and set it up. Now, I'm going to let you set up the way you want to set it up. It's going to ask you a lot of personal questions. Set it up, and we'll come back. Once you go through the whole registration process, it's going to ask you for your personal email. Um, once you do that, it'll send you an email with the login link. The login link is good for exactly one hour. Once you click on that, it'll actually automatically log you into the app. So you get started. It obviously detects that we have a watch. Now, if you didn't set up the actual Galaxy Watch Active app, when you go to do this, you're going to obviously get an error. So you want to set up your watch. So now it's saying, please open the MyBP app on your watch and follow the instructions. Pretty simple. Now, one thing I've noticed is that you need to have the watch about an inch, inch and a half up your wrist. I don't like to wear it that way. I like to have it on my wrist like a normal watch, especially that I'm typically wearing a dress shirt. So you kind of have to have it pretty far up. I don't think this is comfortable. kind of have to have it tight. So then you're going to calibrate it. The first time I did this, it took me a bunch of tries. 
So we'll see how it works right now. Look at that. First try. So again, have it about two fingers above your wrist. I'm going to go here, hit done. So now it shows up. Things change over here. You want to enter blood pressure manually. Just take a guess. I don't know. I know mine's a little high. So we'll just put it somewhere there. It's kind of like the baseline. Heart rate, I average probably like 70 to 64 beats. Sit in a chair with your back straight and both feet on the ground. You're going to say I'm sitting down. Cover the light sensor on the back of the phone with your index finger. Raise the phone to the same level as your heart. Keep your wrist straight and hold still during the measurement. Tap the heart button to get started when you're ready. Go through that setup process. And when you're doing this, you obviously have to stay still. What I found out is that it tends to work best when you take the phone out of the case for whatever reason. Now it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. Boom. So you can set reminders for morning check-in. Do I want to do that? Sure. I'm not a 5 a.m. guy. We'll do like 8.30. So now, as you can see, now you have your evening check-ins. You can actually just tap to measure your heart rate. Recalibrate if you feel like it's a little inaccurate. It's obviously version 1.0. So this is how to actually get the blood pressure monitoring working on the Galaxy Watch Active. Again, it's a little hit or miss. This is the first version of it. If you're like me, this is the reason why I bought the Watch Active. So I'm excited. It'll be cool. Might as well double check your health. I know I need to work on it. Maybe you do. So it's always a plus. Let's see if it worked. And there we go. It's a little high. I gotta work on it. I hope that video helped. I don't see any tutorials on how to set that up. So maybe we're the first. Either way, let's get it started. Let's get it going. Let's start monitoring our health. I came back from the gym right before this video. So I'm working on it. I try to go at least three times a week. Let me know how you make out with your Galaxy Watch Active and setting it up. If you have any questions, comment down below. Again, Eddie you like, subscribe, follow for, you know, more videos. Look forward to speaking with you guys soon.